watching the Property IA Show. Hey, it's Matt here with the Property IA Show on Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so that you never miss a video. Okay, ladders. Probably one of the most dangerous tools in any garage or tool shed. One small oversight while setting up a ladder can have disastrous and even deadly results. According to the World Health Organization, the United States leads the world in ladder deaths. A little surprising. Each year, there are more than 164,000 emergency room treated injuries and 300 deaths in the US that are caused by falls from ladders, okay? Most ladder deaths are from falls of 10 feet or less. And on a typical CAT deployment, a property field adjuster may use his or her ladder more than 20 times in a day. Think about it. You have to use your ladder every time you access a home and its outbuildings, or you might forget to get some photos or measurement on a roof requiring you to access the roof again. Each and every one of those trips up and down your ladder is a high risk endeavor. As an adjuster, I've personally fallen from one roof. Thankfully, it was a very short fall I was not injured and nothing was damaged, but it was a sobering experience and it made me even more careful every time I stepped on my ladder in the field. So in this video, let's go over ladder safety for claims adjusters. Warning. Okay, let's start with equipment. Make sure that you're using a good quality ladder that you periodically inspect for any signs of wear, cracks, or weakness. One of the reasons I don't use a fiberglass ladder anymore is because when they are exposed to sunlight for a long period of time, they will begin to deteriorate. They will crack and start to fall apart. No kidding. Never, really under any circumstances, never use an insured's ladder. I can't tell you the number of times I've had an insured say, oh, you don't have to get your ladder down off your truck. I got one set up for you on the back deck. And it's a 1901 cracked and splitting wooden ladder that has rungs duct taped together. Never use that ladder under any circumstances. I don't care how nice the person is. Use your own ladder. Be sure to plant your ladder in something that will hold it. Now, what do I mean by that? I personally will always stick my ladder claws down into the yard in grass whenever possible. Driveways and decks are probably the biggest killers when it comes to adjuster fatalities. Even if they are dry, they can be extremely slippery. Concrete, asphalt, particularly decks with the deck boards lined up perpendicular to the wall. All of these are death traps. I always try to find a corner to set up into. This will give you a very solid place to anchor your ladder. However, if the wind is blowing the opposite direction and you haven't tied off your ladder, it won't help. So that brings me to always strap off your ladder with a bungee cord. When you jump out of your vehicle and walk up to the house, one of the first things you should do is set up your ladder. Head on up to the top and strap it off. How embarrassing and potentially dangerous could it be to be introducing yourself to the homeowner and then have your ladder blow down in the front yard? Always try to extend at least three feet of ladder above the gutter or eave edge. This will give you something to hold on to while you're getting off the ladder onto the roof and vice versa. And on that same note, I would personally avoid any ladder that has a flared base and top. Some folding ladders have wide bases on both ends. Unfortunately, that makes it harder to get around that flared base at the top, which increases risk. Definitely look into something like these things. Check the description for more links to this safety device. Avoid carrying things in your hands when you're climbing up a ladder. Clipboards, cameras, phones, other ladders for double pulls, etc. You need both hands on the ladder at all times. This is another reason why a high quality tool belt or holsters is absolutely critical for your safety. It helps keep your hands free. Okay, so now you've got your ladder set up. So how, how do you even know what angle to set it up at? OSHA says that your ladder should be leaning at a 75 degree angle. There's a simple app from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health called the Ladder Safety App, which I'll link to in the description. If you don't have that app, the quick and dirty way to make sure that you're in the ballpark with your ladder angle is to put your feet at the base of the ladder and then reach out to the rungs. If your hands rest on the rungs, then you should be good to go. When you're climbing your ladder, especially if it's a two-story ladder or the ladder feels like it's a bit wobbly, you can avoid getting dizzy or vertigo by looking at the wall in front of you. Not the ladder, not the top, and definitely not the ground. When you get to the top of your ladder, 
Dismounting on the roof should be a smooth and easy move. If you get the yips, just stop, take a deep breath, and trust your ladder. If you set it up correctly, it's not going to move or slide out from you or tip over on you. Slow and smooth, no jerky motions or nervous half steps. You gotta commit to the move and make it, okay? Again, this is where having your ladder strapped off and that three feet of ladder above the gutter is gonna help with your confidence and your safety. And I will tell you that moving up a slope is a lot easier than coming back down primarily because of momentum. Momentum will help you going up the slope and it will kill you coming down. Always face forward when coming down a slope. If the roof is so steep that you have to come down facing the roof and holding onto shingles, then the roof was too steep for you to access without fall protection gear. Mount the ladder from the roof in the same way that you dismounted it. Smoothly step onto the ladder below the eave edge. Okay, very, very important. If you step up here above the eave edge, that can cantilever the ladder like a teeter-totter, and that's no bueno. So be safe out there, and remember that if you even just break your ankle, you're out for the season, okay? Chains are gonna break at their weakest points, and for us, one of our biggest weak points is gonna be our ladder. Always treat every time you get on and off your ladder as if your life depends on it, every single time, because it does. Complacency kills. Question of the day. Did you know that you can buy high quality adjuster equipment at adjustertv.com slash resources? Check it out. For much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help us create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are hundreds more videos just like this on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching the Property IA Show on Adjuster TV and have a great storm.